What's up everybody? It's Mark from 403 Fauna. And today we have an unboxing from Tall Grass Reptiles. Now this package was delayed a few hours and I gotta admit to being a little bit nervous about picking it up because with the weather turning cool and the delay said that it was gonna be delivered tomorrow. So I was getting worried, but fortunately that changed and I was able to pick it up after work. So let's check it out. Now I've been really good on selling my snakes and I wanna thank all my customers out there. Thank you so much for buying my snakes. And it's just amazing to think that um, you want the animals that I produced. And I was able to funnel that money back into a purchase that will help further my projects. And there's a little spoiler right here. It is a hypo clown. So let's check them out. So hypo is something that I have in a lot of my double recessive projects. I'm hoping for some hypo pides this year. And I've got several clowns, or I'm sorry, several hypos and het hypo females that will be ready to go in the future. So I needed a, a guy that can run through all of them. And this one was a perfect one to pick up. And here he is, a double visual recessive hypo clown male. So take a look at that head stamp, crazy. Now what I fell in love with the picture was this particular pattern here on the side. Just kind of remind me of uh, tri-stripe-ish and you know, I know there's no tri-stripe here, but that's a project I've been wanting to get into, but I probably shouldn't because I've got a lot of recessive projects already. But this guy is phenomenal. And Hypo is, is one that gets better with age like Desert Ghost does. So this guy, will just get better with age and it's kind of hard to see but there's almost a, a rainbow shimmer going on here so yeah hypo is short for hypomelanistic and it subdues the black coloration giving it an overall frosty appearance and it's also called the ghost it's a clown ghost male already some good size and I'm hoping this guy will be ready for the 2024 season. So big thank you to Tall Grass Reptiles. He was, he was really nice in texting me about the going to pick up my animal when it was ready. So big appreciation for that. So once again, Hypo Clown Mail added to the 403 Fauna team. Beautiful. Let's take a look at a few snakes. Now I liked how the snake's colors came out in front of this background last time, so I thought I'd use it again. But what we have here is a Hypo Banana Head Clown from Adam at Proper Royals. So this will go perfect with that new guy we just unboxed. Now when I initially got him or her, she was sold as a banana head clown, 50% possible head hypo. But as she grew and lightened even more and had no spots, you know, maybe one or two here. And Adam, I believe, later proved the parents to be hypo or head hypo. So we believe that this is a hypo banana head clown. And she'll be ready to go next year when he is. So great addition. Thank you so much, Adam. And yeah, we're gonna make some hypo banana clowns with her. Let's take another look at a hypo. Here goes the pastel hypo GHI I got from Jerome at No Limit Royals. This was a winner from Samson Snakeatorium raffle. And she is a stunner. She's gonna go well with this project. I love GHI. GHI is short for gotta have it. 
And can you imagine when we get clown in that? It's gonna be incredible. So I thought to give you an update on that. I know she had some stuck shed on her head last time you saw her, but she's got it off now. Might be a little bit still there, but incredible snake. Pastel works really well with GHI and also with Hypo, so I'm not too upset about Pastel being in this combo. Look how crazy GHI is. Badass snake. A couple of fresh sheds I want to share with you as well. So my top pick that I produced this year, just put on some new skin. Now this is a male, Firefly, VPI Xanthic, 50% possible head puzzle. And he's doing super well on frozen thawed mice. Just shed its skin. Man, can you imagine when we get Desert Ghost in this and it just cleans everything up? And puzzle. I mean, we're talking about like a decade long project here, but this is a piece. And if he proves out to be hit puzzle, that's gonna get me there faster. And look at how crazy that pattern is. I love how it chains towards the tail right here. So once again, Firefly, VPI Xanthic, 50% possible head puzzle. Second round draft pick here, the Padre Snake. Black Pastel Mojave Calico. New skin, looking absolutely incredible. Just look at the depth of color and patterns on this snake. Female, 50% possible head Ultramel. I'm not even concerned about sending in a shed, even though I kept the shed, because either way she's gonna stay because she is Het Clown. And you know, if we throw that Hypo Clown into her, it's just some crazy possibilities with that. So not your everyday combo, even though all three Kodoms are pretty common, you don't see this very often. In fact, you'd be hard pressed to find anything like this on Morph Market right now. I bet you it's gonna pop soon, look at that butt. So once again, Black Pastel Mojave Calico, Het Cryptic Clown, 50% possible Het Ultramel. Finally, let's get an update on the giveaway snake. He's doing great. He just had his third meal, or she just had her third meal. And I think I'm closing in on 900 subs. So once we get to 1,000, this one will be raffled off. And, oh man, I dropped her. She's fine because she nipped me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. But she seems pretty cool. She didn't fall too far. So you know you'll be, be getting a feisty one here. <laughs> so once again, this is the Giveaway Snake Pastel Highway at 1,000 subs. I'll put the link in the video below. And be sure you comment Life is a Highway on that video in order to be eligible. Hopefully you're not afraid of getting nipped. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Have a great week. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Take care and be safe.